kids, Mr. Jeremy here. This is our next episode of Virtual Art Club at the Strasburg Heisler Public Library. We're glad that you're here with us today. Welcome to fall. If you can see in front of me, I've got a whole bunch of fall leaves with me today. And that's what we're going to make our project out of. Well, sort of. What we're going to make today is called doodle leaves. You see, there's a whole bunch of de designs on here. And you may be thinking at this moment in time, but I can't do that. I can't draw a leaf, but you can. In order to make today's project, you're gonna need a few basic materials. The first thing that you're gonna need is some leaves. What a great opportunity to get outside and enjoy some crisp fall air. Now for our project, one of the leaves that I really love this time of year is a maple leaf. And so that looks something like this. When the leaves come off the tree, sometimes they're curled up. One thing that you can do is you can take some paper and put it on either side or some wax paper and place it under a few heavy books. We've got lots of those here at the library, but it's probably best not to use your library books for this project. Next, you'll need a piece of white paper. I'm going to use a piece of white cardstock for our project. We have a few options with our project today, and you can do your project either in colored pencil or in black marker. And for our project, I'm going to use two different black markers, one that's kind of skinny and one that's kind of fat. Also, to finish up our project, we have another option. For that, you'll need some scissors, some glue, and a piece of colored paper. I'm gonna use a piece of brown cardstock because it looks like fall. Now we're ready to make our doodle leaves. So we're gonna take our piece of white paper and we're gonna choose a leaf that we really like. I think I'm gonna make this maple leaf right here. Now, oftentimes, kids tell me that they can't draw a leaf, but it's really easy, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our real leaf and our either marker or colored pencil, and we're going to start to trace that, not right up against it. We're going to leave a border as we go, just getting the basic flow of how our leaf looks. switch my hands here so I can get the other side. See how easy this is? Just a few more strokes. Just like that. Now, I'm going to take my leaf and I'm going to turn it over. And you can see all this great veining that's on the leaf. Just choose the main, main veins to look at, and we're going to draw those onto our leaf. So there's one down the center. There's one that comes in from that side. One that comes in from that side. One that comes in from there. And another. And then basically anywhere that there's a point, there's one that comes in. So I could say one there. We'll guess for one there and maybe one there. Now look at how we have these different lines on our, our leaf. What we're going to do at this point is we're going to start to fill those in with all kinds of different designs. Let me give you some examples of how you can do some of those. The last time that we were together, I gave you a really easy way to make a design. It's where you make some lines and then you crisscross them like that. And every other one, you make some lines going in one direction. that 
Mr. Jeremy's working really quickly here, so yours will look much better than this. And then we make some lines going in the other direction so that we start to make this little design. Oops, actually I just did that one in the wrong direction. Hmm, how about that? Well, sometimes you just improvise. And then what you can do, once you have those designs, is choose one of them just to start coloring in. Like that. And you start to make your design fit all together. Let's do a different one. Let's say that I make a dot. And then I put a line through it, and another line, and another line, and another line. And then I put a dot at the end of each of those. And do them in a few different places. Or you could do something like this. Make a little half circle and then a few of them like that. And then you do another one. And then you look for that next place where you can do one. And look, we've started to make a design. And what we could do inside of each of those is we could put a dot like that. Or you could color in one of them or make other little lines. until you fill up the whole thing. Maybe you want to do something just really simple. Maybe you just want to make lines. Like that. Or, maybe you just want to make circles. You can make any design that you want to because it's yours. Once you have all of those filled in, you can either leave it just black or you could use your colored pencils and start to color in your design. Make your own coloring sheet or one for a, a younger brother or sister. This is how Mr. Jeremy's doodle leaves turned out. I did two in black and I did one in colored pencil. And this brings up a really good point. When you're doing your doodle leaf, after you finish it, maybe you're not done. Maybe you want to take another leaf. And add on to what you've done. As the artist, you get to decide when you're finished with your picture. And maybe one leaf just isn't enough. Once again, do your veining on your leaf. And create some new sections to do more designs. After you've finished your doodle leaf design using either ink or colored pencil, what you can do, if you want to, is you can cut out your design, just like Mr. Jeremy did here, and then put some glue on the back and find the, the right spot and glue it down on your, your piece of colored paper. Again, Mr. Jeremy is using a brown cardstock here so that it kind of looks more like fall but you can use whatever color you like. Maybe even use colored pencil that, that kind of picks up on that color in the background. And voila, you're finished with your doodle leaves. Pretty easy, isn't it? 
I can't wait to see yours and hope to see you back here again the next time for our next virtual art club.